Are IGN out of touch with gamers, says JMI? They gave Stellar Blade, loved by millions, a seven. They gave Concord, loved by no one, also a seven. And even complimented the character design. I understand the journalist and the critic's necessity of freedom and necessity of saying, hey, we are all about treating this like an art form and our integrity and blah, 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 blah. Okay, I get it. But why isn't there a website that basically is like, look, we are going to be the meat and potatoes core gamer site. Even if we don't even agree, we don't have to use our real names. We'll be like game pro or diehard game fan. But if we know the fans are really into stellar blade and the hot chicks, give it a great score. I don't lie, but you know, let's, let's be those guys. I mean, wouldn't a site like that do crazy, even though it's kind of just preaching to the choir, it's like Fox news. It, I, I don't mean, I don't mean it's like Fox news in regards. I mean, cause MSNBC is the same for the other side, but Fox news though was the first to really come out there with quote news that was presented more as entertainment and focused on what the audience they were going for that they knew they wanted to hear. So why not basically do the core gamer guy, stereotypical gamer, not the guy in his basement, but the, you know, the, the kind of people that, you know, I have problems with a lot of times um, and just go, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're not going to lie necessarily, but sometimes we'll push things in one direction because we know what the choir wants to hear and we know what the choir wants to sing. Um, and so, I mean, think about it. You would have um, Stellar Blade would be in the running for game of the year. Uh, they'd make fun of Concord. Uh, it's not the Spike TV audience, though, Eddie T, because that's kind of the Joe six pack. I'm not talking about the guys that are only buying Madden and Call of Duty. I'm talking about the guys that are like a lot of you in this chat or on NeoGAF or the one saying you guys are fucking up gaming with all your liberal agenda of which I push. I don't push it because there's no agenda, but I push my philosophy, which does tend to feel and be very liberal and progressive. But I'm trying to think of uh, other games that like this year would be uh, that like what came out. The, I mean, certainly Space Marine would be their one of their game of the years. Stellar Blade, you know, Astrobot would get some love. Of course, it, it, it's not like it would be so obvious what they're doing like Fox or MSNBC. But why the fuck not? Why doesn't that exist? I mean, am I wrong or wouldn't that do really well? Uh, Wukong, absolutely. First Descendant, Eddie T. Right. Am I seriously tell me what, what am I missing? Why is, th why is there not a site that's like, holy shit, we're going to meet and potatoes, this son of a bitch, or is there, and I don't mean one of these f bounding into comics, gamer gate. I don't mean any of that shit. I don't mean any of that shit. I want nothing to do with that shit. I want nothing to do with that shit. I'm talking about decent people. They're not fucking racist. They're not, they don't hate women. They don't put up with misogyny or any of that or any of that shit they're just going we're going to cover games games for quote guys and when i say that quote guys i mean that stereotype basically ravno says there is okay what is it I, again I, i'd be stunned if there wasn't but i certainly can't think of it noisy pixel okay it must be doing really well never heard of it noisy pixel uh uh, no, this is weeb shit. And I like weeb shit, but this is weeb shit. Getting good at Final Fantasy uh, 16. Look, Emio, the smiling man from Famicom. Persona 3. Top 10 video games with anime ladies. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, Ravnos, no. This is, oh, oh Yu-Gi-Oh, the early days. Mm, no, not Yu-Gi-Oh, Javi, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm, how to pronounce Yu-Gi-Oh. That's a great idea for an article. Let me just finish my article on Gundam Breaker 4. Mm -hmm. um, is that Final Fantasy 14? 10, 11, 5. Oh, right, because it's before. Gotcha. I, maybe I'll make it. I don't want to do it. Mean, I don't know. Website, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Pedro says first he came for the weebs and I did not speak making your slogan gaming for the bros sounds like a great idea I would love to do that but I just never want to be on camera all right well you set it up I'll be on camera if anybody wants to make that reach out we'll put up a site see how it goes 
But I don't know how that shit goes. Do people go to sites anymore, says Vitaphone? That's that. I don't fucking know. They go to YouTube. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I guess you could do it more like now, like a kind of funny uh, last stand media. Hell, I should just fucking change this shit and just do that here. Uh, you know what I really want to do? I'm just sharing my ideas today. I don't think it would work, but I don't know, like for me to do it, because PR would have a nightmare. But I don't know why Sony or Xbox, I get why Nintendo hasn't. But I don't know why Sony or Xbox has not created basically a 24-hour live streaming channel, just like a radio station, just like MTV was back in the day. And it, and, and it never goes off the air, and there's always programming, and it's always kind of centric to their brand. They don't just cover PlayStation, but they do giveaways. They have exclusive interviews with all the PlayStation people. Um, they have old PlayStation game playthroughs by the designers and all, all that. Sh I mean, a 24 seven channel, I think would be huge for a PlayStation or an Xbox. I don't know why they haven't put the effort into that, but again, it's one of those things. Everybody thinks they have the next great idea, but the rubber has to meet the road. And that means I'd have to leave my house. <laughs> no, thank you. Why would Sony spend marketing dollars when they got hundreds of influencers doing it for them? Well, awesome because they totally control the message. You know, trust me, you know, I mean, they, they, they almost have it with their blog and their weekly podcast, right? Just go 24 seven, have Shuhei taking calls once a week, have Mark Cerny doing a tech round table once a month, you know, have, um, all the teams show up once a month to give updates, you know, just, just, it just, you know, it makes people feel it's almost like PSX. Feel it's almost like PSX, but for you know the goddamn internet set, and you know have demos and exclusives and all that shit. Come on, now it'd be good. It'd be good. 